What's up everyone? Back here again today. I'm gonna be trying to put the bottom end together. Putting the rods in it, new bearings. Check out the clearances and see what we get. Hopefully they're good. Hopefully I can run it like that and hopefully get it running. This is where I'm at. Put the crank in it last night. Clean the pistons up today. They were really dirty. They still look dirty, but they're clean. I don't understand why people can't change their oil. It's so simple, but all right. They're clean now, I guess. Let's try to put it together. Put those bearings in it. Slide it in there and check it out. All right, clean it up. Put the bearings in. Put the plastic gauge on here. I'm gonna just do them one at a time. Loop it up with some oil around the piston. Slide it in there. Tighten it up. Take it off and check it out. All right, first one's in there. Tighten it up. Did the 60 degree turn. How to take it off. Do all the other ones and check them out. All right, finally got them all done. I'm gonna try to show you on here. It's hard to see it though, because of my light, but. Pretty much at one five, number five, same thing. We just go over here, you can't really see it. Start at number one. Pretty much at one five. A little smaller, but pretty much one five. Two. Same thing, pretty much one five, a little smaller or bigger. Pretty much one five also. Just a little bigger. They're all pretty much the same, same thing. One five, a little bigger, not two. Same thing, pretty much one five, a little bit bigger than same thing, can't really see that one good, but pretty much one five, not two, so I think that's good. I don't know, can't really change it much. Nothing really I can do, I guess, but try it out. I'm gonna try to see if the rings are gapped good, and then hopefully install those on the pistons and maybe put them in the block. Try that out. All right, put all the second rings in. This is how I did it, just stick the ring in, get an old piston. Stick it in there, make sure it's nice and flat. Push it down a little bit. And grab your feeler gauges. On the RB, the manual says between 42 millimeters and 57. Um, I'm going with the 45, that's pretty much how they are. Um, I don't think I'm gonna open them up anymore. I'm on a 85, so it should be okay. As long as it's between what the manual says, it should be all right. It's going in there nice and easy. The 46 kind of sticks, so just leave it at that. They're all pretty much at the same thing. 45, going right in nice and easy. Let's try that. All right, put all the first rings in. Same thing, push the ring in, use the piston to square it down. The manual is saying between 24 to 34. You can see it, but it's at 30. It goes right in there nice and easy. They're all pretty much the same exact thing. Right at 30. Going in nice and easy. I'm gonna try that. It's a little more open than what I wanted, but it's okay. It's right in between, I guess. Should work. I already put all the oil control rings, second rings, on the pistons. I was gonna install these and try to put it in. All right, got all the rings in. Cleaned it up a little bit more. Got my assembly lube ready. Install it, I got this. Pretty little tool. Hopefully it should help it install real nice. I can put it in. Try it out. 
I'm gonna lube the pistons up with some oil and stick it in. Try to push it in, lined up the rings, put some oil all over it, put assembly lube on the bearings. I'm about to push it down. All right, finally got it all together. Spinning nice and easy. I think it's pretty good. A little oily, but it's okay. Just smoke a little bit, but we'll burn it out. All that at night, pretty tired, long day, but it was worth it. Hopefully this runs good, and hopefully I get to drive it soon. Check it out for another video soon.